The role of the financial executive very much scales to the organization that you're serving. The smaller the organization, the broader the work is that that financial executive may have to do. Part of Associated Ministries is to find the gaps in the community. And so our work is as broad as the community is. My role here includes not just the financial work, but also the human resources, the information technology, the facilities. For us, our asset management really is our facility and our people. Matching the staff that we have with the resources that are available for those staff. Having to make some tough decisions in the last few years, unfortunately, and discontinuing programs that weren't being supported either by the government contracts or by our donors. I came to Associated Ministries in a time of transition because so many people were made homeless. There were some contracts that came out that we were able to take part in, such as centralized intake. Centralized intake is a program that if you are homeless or imminently homeless, you wouldn't have to go from this shelter to this shelter to this shelter to find out if there was a place for you to stay. But instead, anybody in that situation would come here. We do that assessment to figure out what shelters you're eligible for, but in that process, we're also talking to you about what your resources are, what your strengths are, how can you serve as your best resource. In that first year, we had thousands of phone calls a month. It was an eye-opener for a lot of people within this organization and with the county. Resilience is the ability to take compressive pressure or stress and then to regain your original shape. This organization has taken and probably will continue to take a lot of compressive pressure from the economy, from the needs in our community. We then react to that, I don't think, by going back to our original shape, but by going to a new shape and we're always changing. It's a very dynamic place and, and it's a lot of fun.